हेलो स्टूडेंट्स हाउ आर यू आई एम एच एस वर्स वेलकम बैक टू द एडुलेक्स रैंक अप क्लासेस एंड इफ यू इफ यू कैन रिमेंबर चिल्ड्रन इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव इंट्रोड्यूस्ड द चैप्टर क्लाइमेट एंड वी हैव डिस्कस्ड हाउ वेरिएशंस रिलेटेड टू द क्लाइमेटिक कंडीशंस इन इंडिया वी फाइंड राइट एंड नाउ टूडे इन दिस लेक्चर वी वुड बी trying to understand the factors affecting india's climatic conditions right so here we have factors affecting india's climate so which are the factors that affects india's climatic conditions we divide them into two groups the one is the factors related to location and relief while another is the factors related to air pressure and winds right now what are the factors related to location and relief again we have this uh, flow chart that is the number 1 latitude number 2 altitude latitude related to the location of india latitudinally and longitudinally right and you have already studied this in chapter 1 however we would also be discussing here then altitude altitude that is height right i mean different relief features then we have himalayan mountains in detail separately we would be studying how the lofty mountains in the north of india affects the climatic conditions of this country right then we would be doing distance from the sea there are places which are very close to the sea and there are places which are very far off from the sea influence and how and what type of effect they get from this distance from the sea either they are very close to the sea or they are away from the sea so we would also be studying then we would be studying about the relief that we have in india and what effects it has on its temperature conditions and also related to the pressure and winds right then we would move to the second factors related to air pressure and winds and if we look at this second uh, factors related to the air pressure and winds we have again three sub parts that is number 1 pressure and winds itself then we have upper air circulation which are also known as the jet streams and what and in i mean in what sense they do affect the climatic conditions of india we would also be studying then we have western cyclones western cyclones and also the tropical cyclones because these two types of cyclonic conditions also affect the india's climatic conditions so we would also be studying about all these in the in this video today so let's begin with the first set of factors that is factors related to location and relief so one by one we would be taking care of these so i hope uh, this flow chart you might have uh, understood and now uh, please pen down the all the factors as it is in your notebook also now we would be discussing about latitudes so with the help of i hope you have make a note of this same factors related to
pressure and winds. So I hope you have note down. Yes. Now, we would be discussing about the first set of factors. Firstly, we'll take latitude. You know children, India, in the first chapter you have already gone through about India's location and its size. Again, today I'm trying to understand you about Say it is India's location, right? And you know from here we have Tropic of Cancer. This is what? Tropic of Cancer which divides India into two equal part, right? So this is the It divides India into two parts that is this is what the tropical part and this is subtropical or temperate. Right. Now, the Tropic of Cancer which, which divides India into two parts that is from west to east, right, from Gujarat to the northeastern states, right. So here we have two parts that is tropical India and subtropical and temperate in the higher latitudes. So for this point of view, India is having two types of climatic conditions that is the South India which is very close to the equator is hot and humid or warm and humid that is tropical part which means all throughout the year we have the warm climatic conditions or the, remain the same climatic conditions because it is very close to the equator while the upper part that is above to the Tropic of Cancer, we have subtropical and as we move in the higher latitudes, we find temperate climatic conditions in Jammu and Kashmir and Ladakh region of India. So this point of view, India is having these climatic conditions which are affected by latitudinal extent of India, right? And you know what is the latitudinal extent of India? In the first chapter we have already gone through that is uh, 8 degree 4 minute of uh, north of the equator to 36 degree and 7 minute north of the north latitudes, right? So this, this vast latitudinal extent of India gives its tropical and subtropical climatic conditions. Now move to the second point that is altitude. You know children, altitude means height from the sea. That is altitude. Now, how altitude affects C? You know, I'll take here an example that altitudes means height from the mean sea level. Height from the mean sea level also affects India's climatic conditions. And how it affects, you know, that the places which are 
वर्टिकली हायर देन द यू नो प्लेन और द मीन सी लेवल दे आर लिटिल कूलर वाइल द प्लेन आर बिट वार्मर कंपेरेटिवली राइट एंड फॉर दिस पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू इफ वी टेक एन एग्जाम्पल ऑफ आगरा एंड ऑल्सो दार्जिलिंग सॉरी दार्जिलिंग राइट यू नो बोथ आर लोकेटेड एट द सेम लैटिट्यूड लोकेटेड एट सेम लैटिट्यूड right but the temperature in january the temperature in january here in agra it is around 16 degree celsius in the month of january clear while in darjeeling it is 4 degree celsius temperature it is 4 degree celsius temperature in the month of january so this is what the difference of altitude that is height from the mean sea level right so this this altitude also affects or controls the india's climatic conditions and you know children as we move higher you know uh, from the uh, mean sea level the temperature decreases and so agra and darjeeling agra is located you know in the plain area and uh, darjeeling is a uh, hilly hilly area right so this is also that uh, the temperature in january month in at both the places or being at the same latitude we have the variation of temperatures right now come to the himalayan mountains you know how himalayan mountains affect Uh, the climatic conditions it works at a climatic divide you know children himalayas are located in the north of india himalayas are in the north of india i'm just giving you a brief idea of the same here if you look at this image of india you know the himalayas are in this form that is if i write here himalayas i mean himalayas are here these are the lofty mountains and the highest mountain peaks in the world are located here you know these himalayas since in the north of india and they works like a you know girdles in the north of india which means they protect india from the cold and chilly winds which gets its origin from the arctic circle and move towards india and in that way himalayas protect india from being you know extreme cold right not only this himalayas also stops the south west monsoon winds in the country and also the north east mountain monsoon winds in the country and in that way it makes them to shed all the moisture here only in the northern plains of india right and so this way india gets plenty of rainfall in the summer season right so this way himalaya works or act as a climatic divide in india then we have the distance from the sea 
that is fourth factor of related to uh, factor related to location and relief let's see how this distance from the sea affects you know children uh, the places if you look at this map again I'm drawing here If you look at this map, what you find, say for example Delhi, which is located away from the sea influence and also the Lucknow or Kanpur, right? This is Delhi, which is located away from the sea influence, Delhi, that is, which is the capital of this country, India, right? And here we have Mumbai. or any coastal region you can take an, as an example just to understand you know see here we have Arabian Sea here we have Bay of Bengal right children so what happens because of the location of different places in the country we have different climatic conditions say for example the places which are close to the sea they have moderating influence on their climatic conditions say for example Mumbai or Pune or Goa might be Kerala and other places which are located very close to the water bodies say Arabian Sea or in the east coast of India that is very close to the Bay of Bengal like Chennai, maybe Calcutta, maybe Vishakhapatnam and any other city. They have moderating influence on their climatic conditions which means round the year they have same temperatures almost and this is very contrast I mean in the seasonal uh, uh, seasonal uh, uh, conditions we find I mean in the weather we have a contrast while we move away from the sea influence or as the distance increases from the sea that is in case of Delhi or Kanpur maybe Amritsar you can take as an example while we move from the away from the sea influence the contrast in weather conditions increases which means the places like Delhi has you know extreme of climatic conditions that is extreme hot in summer season and extreme cold in the winters and you know children Delhi is uh, you know known well for its conditions in the winters which are chilly uh, and uh, quite cold conditions we have in the uh, Delhi uh, which is the capital of this country while Mumbai all throughout the year we have moderating climatic conditions which means if uh, you know you wear the woolens you don't feel uh, you know warm from within and if you wear the not if you don't go for the woolen clothes you don't feel the winters so that way all throughout the year we have same weather and same climatic conditions right so this is what the distance from the sea also affects the climate of a particular place. So continental climatic conditions we find here in uh, places which are uh, situated in the interior part of the country. Clear? I hope I am clear children. Then we move to the next point that is relief. You know relief also affects the temperature air pressure and also direction and speed of the wind not only this it also affects the amount 
of rainfall and its distribution in the country and for example children you have already gone through or somewhere you might have come across that Cherapunji and Mohsin Ram in India receives the maximum rainfall which are situated in the Garo Khasi and Jayantia hills that is the Khasi hills which is in the see this is what Meghalaya or the Garo Khasi hills Garo Khasi and Jayantia these are the hills which are famous for its which are famous for its rainfall that they receive and here we have two places which are the wettest place in the world that is Mosinram is at the top place while Cherapunji is at second place right on the other hand from east to west if we move then the amount of rainfall decreases and also for this point of view when we reaches to the Jaisalmer or in the northeast part of the country that is parallel to Pakistan border we find Jaisalmer having having no rainfall or very little ra rainfall in the country we have already introduced uh, discussed in the first chapter uh, sorry in the first topic of this chapter that how Jaisalmer you know receive rainfall you know almost in 8 to 10 years right or just 20 centimeter annual rainfall it receives you can think of how the northwest part of the country is facing acute shortage of rainfall not only this the relief also affects the temperature conditions also say for example you know the tropic of cancer the part of India below to the tropic of cancer have you know the same temperature conditions while from south to north if we move the temperature decreases right and the reason being that India enjoys tropical and subtropical climatic conditions and also the temperate in the uh, Leh and Ladakh or Jammu Kashmir northern Jammu, Jammu and Kashmir part of India right so for this point of view relief also affects the climatic conditions of India I'm also giving you one example uh, here you know children you have already gone through in chapter 2 these are the continuous uh, hills which are from north to the south and they are known as the hills of western ghats right hills of western ghats and here we have hills of eastern ghats which are discontinuous and here we have continuous hills from north to south parallel to the western boundary of India that is western ghats right if you go by these are the hills right or this is the mountain say for example this is mountain one of the mountain it is this is the sea here and here we have the rain bearing winds and you know these are the clouds right this is the mountain these are the clouds and these are the rain bearing winds right children what are these these are rain bearing winds I'm just clearing this because uh, you hope uh, you have might, you might have noticed uh, all the points so I'm clearing it now 
This is the direction of rain bearing winds. And here we have C. Direction of rain bearing winds. Right. So, this is what the direction of rain bearing winds. You can see here. They get moisture from where? This is sea, this is the mountain, right? And here we have clouds. Now what happens? You know, this is the windward side of the mountains and this is the leeward side of the mountain. So what it is? This is the windward side this is the windward side of the mountain this side and this side is the leeward side of the mountain this one is the leeward side of the mountain and this one is the windward side of mountain you know generally the windward side of the western ghats and also in assam if you look at here this is the assam right so this wind the windward side of assam and also the western ghats you know receive much needed rainfall from the rain bearing winds which come across the arabian sea and also the bay of bengal branch right and this way the rain bearing winds when strike against the hills of western ghats and also the hills of assam then they get moisture here only and this way these places receive 250 to 400 centimeter rainfall particularly in the summer from both the branches of monsoon winds that is southwest monsoon winds and north east monsoon winds assam and this way which is the leeward side of mountain it receives less or no rainfall receive less rainfall or little rainfall For this point of view, if we look at, you know, Mumbai here, it receives maximum rainfall while Pune, which is in the leeward side of the western ghats, it receives less rainfall in the country. Clear? So this is what the affects, how the relief affects India's climatic conditions. Clear children? So what we have done, factors affecting India's climatic conditions, the first set of uh, factors that is latitude, the one which is latitude, another altitude we have discussed. We have also discussed how mountains which are in the north of India affects the uh, climate of India and uh, act as a climatic divide. Then we have discussed distance from the sea how it influences India's climatic conditions, taking the example of Agra and uh, uh, other uh, cities like uh, Lucknow, Amritsar or you know other interior places which are away from the moderating sea influence and the places which are closer to the sea coast they are having moderating influence. So this distance from the sea also affects the climatic conditions. Then we discuss the relief as the fifth factor of 
द फर्स्ट सेट ऑफ फैक्टर्स रिलेटेड टू लोकेशन एंड रिलीफ सो दिस इज वॉट अबाउट रिलीफ वेयर इन वी डिस्कस्ड द एग्जाम्पल ऑफ विंडवर्ड साइड एंड लीवर्ड साइड विच रिसीव विंडवर्ड साइड रिसीव मैक्सिम रेनफॉल वाइल लीवर्ड साइड रिसीव लिटिल और लेस रेनफॉल और नो रेनफॉल समटाइम्स एग्जाम्पल वी हैव मुंबई इन द which uh, which is very uh, which which is uh, facing the windward side of the western ghats while pune is situated in the leeward side of the western ghats so both the places receive contrast rainfall that is mumbai receive maximum rainfall while pune receive little or no rainfall so i hope i am clear not only this relief also affects the direction of winds also you know how it affects the direction of uh, and speed of the wind it depends on you know the temperature conditions and i have already told you that uh, the relief also affects the temperature of india and we have taken example of uh, you know the leh and ladakh in summers where the temperature is quite uh, i mean uh, in the minus or say 2 uh, to 5 degree celsius while in uh, south india we have throughout the year the same temperature conditions and in north in summers we have mercury touches to 50 degree celsius or above to the 45 degree celsius in any case and we have hot lu that is the local winds and they are very fatal at times right so this is what the relief which affects the temperature conditions and relief and also affects the speed of the winds and how it affects the speed of the wind uh, you know children uh, in the summer season while mercury is at its top that is the temperature is higher we have relief you know which affects the movement of the winds and its speed also because always the winds move from the uh, high to the low pressure that is there is which means we have Uh, reverse uh, relations between the temperature and the air pressure so where we have low pressure we have the high temperature if we have the low temperature then we have the high pressure so for example in the north you know in the north particularly in summer season when we have uh, develop low temperature conditions here low right then what happens the winds move towards the main indian land and then they brings the much needed rainfall in the country in the form of south west monsoon winds and also another branch that is north east monsoon winds so we will discuss uh, in the second set of uh, uh, factors which affects the india's climatic conditions right so i hope you have understood all the five factors related to location and relief children yes so now we would go for the second set of factors related to air pressure and surface winds